wild, absolutely wild. One of the most exciting moments in birding is hearing news that a rare bird is nearby and being able to try and see it. This was the case when news broke that American flamingos had made their way to Wisconsin, which was improbable, but not impossible. Earlier in the year, Hurricane Idalia had pushed American flamingos into the United States, and they had been seen in Florida, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Texas, Louisiana, and more. Although it was a possibility that they could show up in the Badger State, it didn't seem likely based on just how far northwest Wisconsin is, until it actually happened. We got some crazy stuff going on. Apparently there are five flamingos at Port Washington in Wisconsin. So this is a, a you know, drop everything, run up there, see if we can find them, because that's just a wild bird for the state. Hopefully they stick around. It was the thing where like when people said it, it's like, are you joking? Like, is this serious? But apparently it is, so let's go. I started the drive to Port Washington and picked up my friend Nathaniel along the way. As we got closer, we counted down the minutes until we would have a chance of seeing wild flamingos on Lake Michigan. We are about eight minutes away from possible Wisconsin flamingos. I picked up my friend Nathaniel who's filming right now. So there's definitely that anticipation of it's been like, you know, 40, 50 minute drive. And like, are they still going to be there or not? So fingers crossed. We arrived to a busy parking lot and an array of birders and non-birders taking in the strange sight of these unique birds. As we laid eyes on them, it almost seemed unbelievable. This is so crazy seeing these birds here. There's so many people. You gotta check yourself for a minute. You're like, am I in Florida? Like these pink flamingos are on the beach here. Like, is this salt water? Um, yeah, wild, absolutely wild. Wisconsin flamingos, amazing. Didn't think this was ever gonna happen. Finally, we join Ohio and Indiana, Kentucky. Adult American flamingos are pink in color with black wingtips, a distinctive downturn bill, a long neck, and long legs. Flamingos are born gray and white and only get their pink coloration from their diet of algae, shrimp, and other small crustaceans after about two years. Adult flamingos are around five feet tall and they are normally seen in groups. Their native range extends from the Caribbean to northern South America, and they are often seen wading in the shallow waters of saltwater and brackish coasts. When feeding, they will drop their head into the water and sway it from side to side, pumping water in and out of their bill to filter out food. This action may be accompanied by foot stomping in order to bring more food to the surface. In the group along Lake Michigan, there were still two younger birds showing their gray color which was quite a contrast in comparison to the pink adults. I feel like my mind can't process that this is real. It just looks like too out of place. It's mind boggling. In between taking photos and videos and appreciating this incredible once in a lifetime sight, we also caught up with some of our other friends who made the trip to see these birds. It's this, wild. This isn't is it? absolutely incredible. Just absolutely incredible. I mean, how can you not drive an hour in Wisconsin to see flamingos? Did you think you were going to see these ever in Wisconsin? I never thought I'd see them in the U.S., much less here in Wisconsin. Win. Major win. The crowd continued to grow, and many of the local news outlets also showed up to cover the story. So it's been like an hour, hour and a half, and it's still so crazy cool to just watch these flamingos. You can literally just sit here and enjoy them all day. Um, people have mostly been being respectful. Sometimes someone gets a little close, but normally they get kind of reprimanded and they go back. There was one boat that came in and then went out, and then a bunch of news crews here. So it's definitely like a statewide story. You know, people nationally are probably going to hear about this, so it's just insane. In addition to the flamingos, we noted a Canada goose floating along nearby, a local peregrine falcon keeping its distance in its nesting platform, a couple of flying cormorants, as well as a few ring-billed gulls. Eventually, after watching the flamingos for about two and a half hours and talking to multiple news outlets, we decided to head out, feeling excited about seeing the flamingos in Port Washington. 
All right, we are headed out from what I've unofficially been calling Flamingo Fest, but what a wild spectacle. Having all those people, birders, non-birders, news networks here, just watch the flamingos chilling. And they seem pretty calm. They've been bathing, kind of putting their beaks in the water, resting. So hopefully they do end up making their way back to where they came from. Uh, but just a spectacular event here. Later in the day, it was reported that the flamingos eventually flew south hopefully to a warmer climate with an abundance of food. Even though they were only seen in Port Washington for less than a day, they made a huge impact on the birding and non-birding community, and maybe seeing them will inspire more people to learn about birds and bird conservation. Where do you think flamingos will show up next? Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Yeah.